So I'm Dan Spratt, a radiation oncologist from the University of Michigan. Intermediate risk prostate cancer is a very commonly newly diagnosed subset of prostate cancer defined by patients that have a Gleason score usually of seven, a PSA between 10 to 20, or clinically detected by a rectal exam, T2B or T2C disease, which really means you can feel a palpable nodule during the digital rectal exam. This seems like a very small or tight risk group, but it's very heterogeneous, and people have subdivided intermediate risk into items called favorable and unfavorable intermediate risk. But even within these subsets, we've now shown, using the Decipher assay and other assays, that it's very heterogeneous and that many patients with unfavorable intermediate risk disease actually have low genomic risk scores, and those with favorable intermediate risk disease actually can have higher risk genomic risk scores. A recent study done out of Princess Margaret Hospital was a prospective study that followed about 120 men that received radiation therapy alone with no hormone therapy and no brachytherapy boost. And about 70% of these patients had unfavorable intermediate risk disease. Current NCCN guidelines would recommend that this cohort should have received hormone therapy or a brachytherapy boost or all three, despite them receiving only radiation therapy alone. Those with Decipher Low had zero metastatic events out to 10 years. Those with higher Decipher scores had substantially increased rates of metastatic disease and probably should have received hormone therapy and or a brachytherapy boost. So what this has shown us is that Decipher can help identify an ultra-low prognostic subgroup that further treatment intensification beyond dose-escalated radiation therapy is very unlikely to improve outcomes. This is being tested in other trials ongoing, and this assay has already been approved by Medicare to be used in this setting.